Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to talk a little bit about strengthening relationships. Um, these could be relationships with your kids um, or your partner or spouse or roommate, um, but just strengthening those relationships. So one thing that I think is helpful, since we've all been probably a bit more together with our housemates or those who live in our household um, over the last year. And we might be getting sick of them. <laughs> I know that my kid is getting sick of us. So until um, and in between times when we are able to be with other people, um, we still can work on strengthening our own relationships. So these are strategies modified from the pride rules that come from parent-child interaction therapy. So the pride rules are for praise, reflect, imitate, describe, and enthusiasm. And so what does that mean? So for the idea is that for five minutes a day, you would just focus on strengthening your relationship or building rapport with the individual. Um, and during that five minutes, you're not going to ask any questions, um, you're not going to give any instructions, and you're not going to provide any correction. So what are you going to do during that time besides just sit there and stare at people weirdly? Um, instead, what you want to do is praise or thank them for the things that they are doing well, the things that they are doing right, the things that you like and approve. Um, it might be that they are cleaning up after themselves or that they um, did something really neat um, with their play or in a video game or whatever, right? But you're praising or thanking them. And phrasing it in a way that makes sense for the relationship, right? If I'm talking to a small child, I might be like, wow, thank you so much for cleaning up or, ooh, that was such a beautiful picture. But if I'm talking to a partner, I might be like, oh, thanks for showing that to me. Wow, that looked really difficult and looks like you did a great job with it. Uh, so frame it for the relationship that you're that you have with that individual. R is for reflect or restate back what the person is communicating to you. Um, so for a, a small child, that might be something where they say, I'm mad, grr, and you're like, oh, it looks like you're very mad. You're very upset. It upsets you when whatever the situation is, right? Um, but for an adult, it might be like, oh, it sounds like you had a really rough day at work today. Um, and you're just restating or reframing what information they're communicating to you. I is for imitate um, or stick with their interests, right? So if a child is playing, again, this is for five minutes a day. So if the child is playing something that you get down on their level and you play with them for those five minutes. Um, if your partner or housemate is watching a show, you sit there and you watch it with them for five minutes or you talk about the you listen to them talk about um, their interest, even if it isn't necessarily a shared interest. Um, but you want to spend that time with them doing things or talking about things that they like. D is for describe. And this is, I look at this um, as more of an opportunity to remind you that you're just commenting or describing. You're not asking questions giving instructions or providing a sort of correction. So you could comment on things that are happening and the individual can then provide additional information if they choose to, but you're not asking them or requiring them to tell you more about it. Um, and they can choose to talk about whatever they want to talk about, right? So with a small kid, it might be something like, wow, I see you're building a very tall tower. Um, and then they could tell you 
what it is. Or you could see them coloring a picture. And you're like, oh, you're using lots of bright colors in your picture. And then they can describe what it is or what they're doing with that picture. Um, for uh, an adult, it might be something where you comment on uh, what they're watching. Oh, I see you're watching such and such show. Or, oh, looks like you're playing that new game that came out. And then let them fill you in on whatever they feel like filling you in on or not. Um, and then E is enthusiasm or energy. And this is, again, like one of the main things to do when you are strengthening your relationship is to be present, have that energy and that enthusiasm and show them that you want to be around them, even if it is just for five minutes. So act interested, uh, pretend like you do enjoy singing Ring Around the Rosy and falling down um, 500 times with your toddler uh, during that five minutes. Uh, pretend like the uh, book they're telling you about that your partner or your teen is telling you about or the game that they're telling you about is very interesting. Even if it's not necessarily super interesting, you are interested in them as a person. So you want to show that you have that energy and that enthusiasm for their interests so that they feel appreciated and feel like you're really engaged with them. So the idea with strengthening these relationships is that you could dedicate five minutes a day to just following these pride rules with the individual while you are, you know, while they're doing something that they enjoy. You won't be asking questions, you won't be giving instructions, and you won't be correcting them on anything. Um, you're just going to hang out with them for five minutes. However, these strategies are also things that you could do throughout the day to also show appreciation and um, to continuously build your relationship with the individuals. So it isn't something that you only do for five minutes a day. You could if that's all that you have and you could really focus on it during that time. But these are also strategies that you could integrate throughout your day and throughout your interactions with that person to help continue to strengthen that relationship. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have other strategies that have worked for you. Thanks.